In this video, I want to ask the question, which of these is not equal to 3 fifths? OK, so which of these four fractions is not equal to 3 fifths? So we're recognising that symbol is not equal to. Now, if I said do this without your calculator, then you could use your tools of simplifying fractions and cancelling fractions down, which is a technique that we'll learn later on and, co and cover later on. So once you've covered that, or if you're confident with doing now, you might want to have a go at that. Um, alternatively, what I'm going to use is my calculator. Now, it depends on what calculator you have as to what results you end up with. So if you're using a basic calculator and not a scientific calculator, um, it may well not give you a fraction. So on my calculator, for example, if I type these numbers in, if I do uh, numerator divided by denominator, uh, it will automatically simplify the fraction down for me. Um, and so I will be able to make very quick work of this. Uh, what I'll do instead is I will skip over that, OK, and, and assume that I can't do that, and I will convert each of them into decimals, and then we will see, OK? So, 3 fifths, let's first of all convert that into a decimal, and that's 0 0.6, OK? So 0 0.6 is the target. So we want to see which one of these is not equal to 0 0.6. So first one, 15 divided by 25, and then convert it into a decimal, and we get 0 0.6. So that's not the one we're looking for. Right, 63 over 105 is 0 0.6. So that's not the one we're looking for. 48 divided by 80 is 0 0.6. So that's not the one we're looking for. So clearly, by process of elimination, it'll have to be this one. So 44 divided by 70 is 0.6286 to four decimal places. So clearly, it is that one that is not equal to three-fifths.